this is day 14 of the May Lico challenge. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started on this problem. Uh, okay, implement try prefix tree. That sounds obvious. Uh, implement try prefix tree. Implement a try with insert search and starts with method. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is C++ is also fun, but yeah, this seems pretty straightforward uh, in the sense that I don't think there's any complication here. It's just whether you know it or you don't. Uh, I would say that I have gotten these questions on an interview before, so definitely practice it. Um, and I don't think there's that much to explain, so you could... Um, so watch me implement it, I suppose. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of videos out there explaining what a try is and how to, how to um, think about a try. Uh, and I'm going to try to implement that from memory. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have to implement insert search and start with. What is search exactly? Search is exact. Uh, ret okay, return the word is a try. They don't tell. Okay, it's a little bit weird that they don't tell you in the statement, but that's okay. Um, okay. So the way that I like to do it is I would like to have a node in general. Uh, I would have, so the, so what I usually have uh, is like, um, like a terminal st string, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, maybe I don't even have to, I could just do uh, a dollar sign, which is a common suffix to use. Um, but now we just have uh, edges. This is equal to collections dot default uh, note. And maybe that's good enough for me. Uh, okay. So is the empty string in it? I guess not. So let's do. Uh, self dot root is equal to node. So some people also like to st store certain states on the on the nodes itself, uh, but I prefer to keep it on the edge. And in this case, we only need to insert and search and start with. So we don't. Um, so yeah, so it seems like it should be okay. Returns if there are any. Oh, these are all boolean. Okay, insert. So what's an insert? So now for each character, we just do it, I think. Uh, each uh, character, char in word, we, okay, so we start at the root node. So node is equal to self that root. Oh. Yeah, and then node dot edges of char. That, uh, Yeah, is that all? I think I have to do, I should do something, but but it just creates a new node, which is kind of what we want if it doesn't exist. Um, so so we could just do node as you go to node that that that's char, and then at the end, um, there are di different ways to do it, but I I just create a node that uh, we create an edge to um, a. Uh, a dollar sign, which is common in obviously, if your input may contain dollar signs, then do something else. But um, but it, it comes up in suffix tree, so that's why I kind of sometimes have that notation. Um, okay. And then search, and then this is all, all we need, and we, yeah. Uh, and some of that is because of the default that allows us to create a new node. By itself, if it doesn't exist, otherwise we walk the dag, uh, or we walk the tree. Sorry. Uh, so search. What is search? No, is equal to self that root. We have to return if the exact um, exact word is on there. So let's do word char in word. Uh, and this time we cannot do this precisely because we want to make sure that because if we do this, this automatically creates the note. So we have to actually do a if char in node dot edges. Node is equal to node dot edges dot char or subscript char. Uh, otherwise, we return false because that means the character is not in there. And then at the end, um, we want to return if the the uh, end string 
thing is an edge. Also, typing return correctly. And now starts with is also similar, uh, except for you don't even need to return this. So you, eh, you can copy and paste. We could we should probably dry ourselves, um, but yeah. But let's just return this for now. And at least let, let's give it a try since. We did enough. Ooh, word is not defined. I have a typo. Oh, this is prefix, not a word. <laughs> That's the risk of uh, copy and pasting. <laughs> cool. That looks okay. Um, are there any cases? I guess the cases that I would think about are, are like empty string. So let's do that and then search and start with. With all with the empty string. Uh, I expect both of these to be true. Oh. Insert arguments of what? Uh, what you mean? Oh, the size have to be at least, more, at least one. So no, okay. So no empty string is what it's trying to say. Oh, all inputs are guaranteed to be known. Okay, so that's even better. Uh, so let's do Z. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So that looks okay. So let's uh, let's submit. Um, so I would also say we'll talk about readability after we fix it or uh, after we submit. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Accepted on the first try. That's that's always fun. Um, yeah, so th this is pretty standard. Sometimes I would implement, a, like I said on the node, I would implement, uh, or I would have a boolean that tells you whether this is the last node on the, like a possible ending to the node. Um, and all, and in terms of readability, well, you only have like three, four lines each, but I would probably, um, probably refactor the, this into itself, uh, which means like you know. Like I, I would have like fine node or some uh, maybe better naming, <laughs> but someone like that where um, gives me the node, and then turn none, and then otherwise return node, uh, and then and then now it's just. Uh, okay, maybe I can. Well, something like that. Actually, that's not very Pythonic, to be honest. So, so actually, what I would do is probably throw an exception here, um, and then try catch it here. Uh, so, yeah. But for an error, I guess that's the. Is it error or something? Raise an error? Mm -hmm. uh, let's just use a generic exception class for now. Um, not found. And then now you would just have. Uh, you could now just do something like this. Uh, no, uh, except as. You can also accept like exception for your named exception, but uh, yeah. So same thing. Uh, Okay, we just return. Maybe even just this, I, I suppose. So this looks a little bit awkward. So maybe I would have to change the API a little bit. But uh, but yeah, but that's the general idea about how I implement this and think about it and 
Oh. Uh, did I muck it up? Maybe I mucked that up. Go ahead. Oh, because this is, because <laughs> this is a, oops, because this is a typo, so like, well, the, but it, but that's also an exception that somehow gets caught. That's actually a funky thing, but, um, oh, my thing is wrong. And trying to make it readable. Uh, oh, what exception is it for? Raising. Yeah, I'm curious. In any case, we're just doing it for readability. Uh, the idea is that these things will come up in the interview, definitely practice, and uh, and yeah, and f focus on readability. Running time, everything's, um, this is all of one, and everything's all of one. Th these are pretty, this is a pretty standard data structure, so yeah. Um, but oh, the name find node is not defined, that's why. <laughs> we caught the wrong, this is why, well, this is the risk of, um, using the class exception uh, because if you use the name named exception uh, then you and you only catch that then this would actually be easier to debug but yeah as you can see everything's good again just because we just didn't uh, so that was even less sad but uh, okay but yeah that's all I have for this problem uh, let me know what you think uh, let me know how you did uh, how did you handle the edge cases uh, and leave a comment below uh, see you bye bye